It's a big blow to the Congress party as one of uh, the G23 leaders who's been very vocal in his criticism of the top leadership of the Congress party has resigned from all party positions. The Gulam Nabi Azad in a five-page scathing resignation letter addressed to Congress interim president Sonia Gandhi has lashed out at Rahul Gandhi calling him an inexperienced psychophant, immature and accusing him of demolishing the consultative mechanism. He's accused Sonia Gandhi in this letter of being a mere figurehead going on to say that decisions are being taken by proxies like Rahul Gandhi's security guards and PA. So it is a very scathing five-page resignation letter. He's talked about his long association with uh, the Congress party and the Gandhis. But interestingly, he says that the people who are now being touted to take over the Congress are mere proxies. He's also uh, indicated in uh, the very last part of his letter that he's not ready to hang up his boots just yet. Uh, he will, of course, continue to serve the people and work towards his purpose, but outside of the ambit of the Congress party. What does this mean for the Congress? Another high-profile exit, which hasn't come as a surprise to many, but it's coming in at a time when the Congress is set for a new Congress president. There are elections uh, uh, to be held in Jammu and Kashmir um, later this year, perhaps. So what does it all mean? Nidhi Razdan joins us with the very latest. Uh, uh, Nidhi, like we've been saying, this is an exit that hasn't surprised many, but it has far-reaching ramifications for the Congress. Well, I think uh, Gulam Nabi Azad's exit is a particularly big blow for the Congress simply because uh, he's been one of the most senior leaders of the party. He's been general secretary. He's been in charge of their campaigns in big states like Uttar Pradesh, uh, like Karnataka in the past. Uh, he has been a former chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir. And Gulam Nabi Azad's association with the Congress, as he's pointed out uh, in this uh, resignation letter, uh, goes back decades. So therefore, for someone like him, uh, to to resign and to uh, you know lash out in this way at the party leadership at Rahul Gandhi in particular uh, is is uh, quite a worrying sign for the party and I can tell you that he's not going to be the last senior leader to exit the party. We understand from sources uh, that we could see more high profile exits from the Congress party in the next few weeks and months. This is now uh, looking more and more likely. We have seen, uh, uh, of course, Rishika, as you were pointing out earlier as well, that there has been a group of 23. Uh, in the in the Congress, the G23, uh, the so-called rebels uh, like Kapil Sibyl, Gulam Nabi Azad was a part of that. There are others like Anand Sharma, etc., who've been talking about the need for change, the need for reform. And we've heard Anand Sharma on NDTV only a few days ago talking about uh, the manner in which he has been treated in Himachal Pradesh. He stepped down from a committee that he was put on for the Himachal elections, saying that he had never been consulted, he had never been called for any meetings, and suddenly, you know, he's put uh, on a committee to look at the Himachal polls. So we know that Anand Sharma is upset and is probably waiting to make his next move. Uh, there are other leaders as well who been critical of the party or who have taken different positions from the official party line in recent times. Manish Tiwari, who is a, a Lok Sabha MP from Punjab, is among those. Even Shashi Tharoor, uh, you know, who hasn't really said anything, but, you know, has, uh, you know, uh, actually joined the G23 uh, in, in one of their dinners uh, just a few months ago, which which made big headlines. And in fact, he's given an interview to a print publication only a few days ago where he said that he's being wooed uh, by many other parties as well without actually saying uh, that, you know, he, he, he himself is look, looking out to leave the Congress. So there are other leaders, senior leaders, sitting members of parliament who could be leaving the Congress soon. And uh, that just shows you uh, the state that the party is in at the moment. And if you contrast this with the BJP, which has only last week done a massive rejig of its parliamentary board, it has, you know, dropped leaders like Nitin Gadkari, it has kept Yogi Adityanath out of that, but it's, you know, rejigged this parliamentary board because they know they have this big election coming up, the general election. So the BJP is on firm course, you know, preparing for 2024 and the Congress only yesterday, as we reported, uh, is repeatedly postponing elections to the Congress president's uh, post. And this was a process that was supposed to have been completed, actually, by the 21st of September. And we heard now the Congress saying, well, it's not going to happen until Diwali, citing an, you know, so-called inauspicious period. Uh, well, I mean, you know, we know that that's not the reason. The reason simply is that they're not able to zero in on who the Congress president should be. Sonia Gandhi wants it to be Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot. There is a large section of the party that believes he's just going to be 
a sort of uh, remote controlled by the Gandhis. They don't want him. They want to put up a challenge. Uh, so, you know, I think Gulam Nabi Azad has also in his letter raised serious questions on the whole Congress election process as well. So this is, uh, you know, a big political development for the Congress. And, and uh, uh, it's not the end of the story is what I'm saying, Rishika. 